13,000 years later, Smilodon's remains have been meticulously preserved by a naturally occurring carnivore trap. Dr. Christopher Shaw has been excavating saber-toothed cat remains at Rancho La Brea Tar Pits in California since 1969. When I first began working at Rancho La Brea, one of the first things that I dug up out of that site was a skull of a saber-toothed cat. Here in this part of the Los Angeles basin, we have oil that is seeping up out of the ground and pooling in shallow pools on the surface. And animals have come along and gotten stuck in these pools of asphalt so that they are mired and can't escape, eventually dying. And the bones, after the animals decay, the bones then are preserved by the oil itself. Tectonic pressure forces the oil towards the surface and pores in the sediments on top of the oil allow it to pool above ground. Naturally occurring tar pits that preserve fossils as effectively as the ones found at Rancho La Brea are extremely rare. These tar pits are the world's most renowned cemeteries for some of the most fascinating prehistoric creatures. Like the short-faced bear, which was twice the size of a modern-day grizzly. The giant ground sloth, which was as big as a small car. The western camel, which evolved in the Americas. The dire wolf, who hunted in packs and regularly attacked prey much larger than themselves. And of course, the saber-toothed cat, and mammoth. Probably the deadly pits of sticky tar would have been camouflaged by dense foliage. You'd have an unsuspecting herbivore, well, let's say a mammoth, walking across this area and getting stuck in maybe two to four inches of this asphalt, getting mired in here and struggling to get out, but can't get out. And eventually what happens is they become fatigued and they lay down and die, if they're lucky. If they were unlucky, a carnivore like Smilodon might smell the struggling mammoth. More scavengers would join the feeding frenzy. But tar is no one's friend. Eventually, some of those predators would get entrapped too. And that's why we call this a carnivore trap because what we see in, in the large mammals is that 90% of the large mammals found here represent animals that are meat eaters. Dogs, cats, bears, those sorts of things. After tens of thousands of years, scientists like Dr. Shaw have wrestled the twisted mass of bones from the tar pit's sticky jaws and reassembled them at the George C. Page Museum at Rancho La Brea. <laughs> 